Hello everyone, welcome to a new season of Design Centric SimCity. I'm your host, I guess, Struk Toaster, and um, yeah, we're starting a new season and I'm excited for many reasons. Reason number one, uh, we get to build things again, which is the part that I like the most. Uh, not so much doing maintenance, I mean, I, I do enjoy like making small changes here and there, but like, I do love, I mean, I love this game because of the build of the build, uh, the part of where, where I build stuff. I can't even, I'm so excited, I can't even speak properly. So, um, what we're gonna do in the season, in case you didn't know, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of Cities of Tomorrow. Dot, um, due to popular demand. Again, you can see, I can't, I can't even speak properly. I'm just too excited, I wanna start it right now. In fact, I'm gonna select the region, and I'm gonna tell you why I picked this region. Um, I've noticed that most uh, less plays out there don't play this region this often, and um, to me it's one of my favorites uh, because, um, first of all, I like the setting of it, I like the theme, the sand, the dust, uh, it, it's a desert, right? And um, also in terms of uh, graphics, I feel like it's a perfect setting for Cities of Tomorrow, it's really the contrast in terms of graphics, especially for YouTube uh, and the bitrate that YouTube handles. I think um, the colors will wash out less uh, against this, uh, let's say, backdrop. Um, so yeah, that's why I picked it. Uh, it has seven cities, which is a lot of work. The previous season was uh, uh, 29 episodes, and it only had five cities. But this one, this one has seven, and um, one great works. And it also has a city here that I'm going to tell you about in a little bit. That it's called Fallout Center. That uh, you're gonna need like special Cities of Tomorrow buildings in order to clean it up because he has radiation in the ground. So let's go ahead and create this region. We're gonna call it Last Lamas. I'm gonna go hit next, and uh, let's pick a city. Let's go ahead with this one. Uh, you will notice that most of these cities have very little water or none at all, like this one. This, by the way, is the Fallout Epicenter. Uh, this one says that it has three bars, but I'm gonna sh show you the water table. It doesn't really have that th those that, mu mu that much water. So that, that's gonna be a bit challenging um, to, for this entire region, uh, it's gonna be challenging, but uh, uh, we'll make the best of it. So let's go hit play and uh, start loading the first city. So here we are, White Sand Springs. Um, what we're gonna do first is bulldoze this awful stretch of road. Uh, that was just like, whatever, just connect it and ship it because that's whatever. Um, before I forget, let me tell you something about the music that you're listening to in the background. It just so happens that my cousin wrote uh, the, the background music specifically for this season of design-centric SimCity, and uh, it's still sort of a work in progress. Um, but um, the idea is that uh, we might we might even have different songs uh, throughout the episodes of the season. So um, I hope you I really hope you enjoy it. We're still like fine-tuning things here and there just to have like a good soundtrack that you can listen to while you watch me. You can follow him on Twitter, and he also is starting a YouTube channel soon, so you can find those details in the description. So make make sure you follow him and subscribe to his channel. Uh, hopefully he will start posting things there very soon. He's definitely really, really talented, and I'm actually really excited about uh, his contribution to this to this modest series. And um, let's uh, let's continue, and uh, let's let's start building right away. Um, we should probably, do we want to pause the game? Uh, before any of that, let me show you the water table. Look, there's like no water in here. And this is three three dots of water based on the region view or whatever. So imagine the ones that don't have any water. I mean, they don't have any water. Um, and not only that, this one is like polluted. So we're gonna need a specific building here in order to clean this thing up. So, what I'm gonna start, okay, let me pause the game. I wanna get rid of that notification first. Um, there we go. 
Game is paused. And, uh, oh, never mind. They're gonna keep appearing no matter what, what I do. I'm thinking I want to have an avenue that um, pretty much goes around the city. <clears throat> that pretty much that pretty much goes around the city and sort of hugs this uh, cliffs and then do sort of the same down here but uh, let's start with this part first I don't want to like do everything absolutely like fill out the entire map especially because we're gonna have like mega towers and those you know take a lot of uh, sims in it so Getting water and services to all those people is going to be quite challenging, I would assume. So let me get started with, um, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's start getting some roads down just to have an idea. Uh, if you don't, if you're just tuning in and you've never watched videos of mine, uh, you need to know that. So in real life, I'm a designer and uh, I paid a huge, huge attention to detail. Some people think or tell me in the comments that I have OCD, but no, it's just that I really care about what I do and I want it to be as nice as possible. And also my videos, I try to put you know the best content that I can out there. I know I say that a lot, but I really, really mean it. And um, I think people like that. Uh, people notice when you put like an extra effort and you add like quality to the products that you do, um, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that. I'm just saying that I, I care about, uh, the presentation and, and the content quality. Oh, we can totally do this. Hang on, hang on. This is where it would go if I follow the guides, but we're not going to follow the guides, right? Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, this should go like this, maybe? I want this to be, yeah, there. That kind of works. In fact, can we get a diagonal here? Oh, perfect. We can get this, we can get this, we can get this, we can get this. We can get this and we can connect this back. All right. So this part uh, here, I don't know how this is going to turn out. First of all, I'm actually really excited about this, this uh, kind of overpass. Do we want to convert it into like a suspension bridge? Probably not. Oh, that looks even nicer. I wonder if I can fit an avenue through here in order to connect the, what's going to be down here. But I think that that's going to be a different episode. Let's just focus on getting like the base of this part right here. Uh, I'm thinking I can use this diagonal to project the streets that are going to be inside. And I'm thinking that I don't want to connect the city. It, uh, against this stretch of road because I want the traffic coming into the highway to flow freely around the city not just get in well and the rest of the traffic is just like take this turn or this turn into the city wherever they need to go so yeah let's try to make this smooth it was if we can let's do three by three yeah Ooh, that bulldoze the important part of the bridge that I don't think it will connect back. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh man. Can I maybe do this? And have it curve. This is nice. Yeah, that looks nice. What a bridge. In fact, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait, this, I, I need to try this out. What if this diagonal would, you know, continue into here? Oh my God, that's even better. Oh my, this is so much better. We're totally doing this, hang on. 
No, 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 all the way. There we go. Only that part. I mean, we can have both overpasses, I guess. Oh, it just, it barely connects. So wait, maybe we should like go into here. No, that, that's not what I want. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a perfect diagonal, like a 45 degree diagonal. It just, it, yeah. Let's get rid of this. We don't want this now. Yeah, we can have something cool in here. Well, it could be the mayor's house. My house could be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I'm loving it. So let's do this. Actually, let's get one more and one more. Get our curve tool. Smooth this up. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And get a nice little curve here. So this is kind of a new glitch, how, how it does this. Cause like the actual curve, if you go into bulldoze mode, like it exists, but it's just rendering poorly for some reason. Uh, that used to work okay. I don't know what they did here. That uh, happens, especially when you have a uh, futurization. Oh man, you're killing me. There we go. When you have futurization on a curve and like it reaches like half of the curve, it will like look weird. The transition between the futurized version and the non-futurized version. So this overpass, what do we want? Do we want a, the arc? Overpass? Yeah, we do want the arc overpass. Even though it has a lot more pylons, I guess. But look at that. That looks amazing. Please tell me that that doesn't look amazing. And I will follow you and kill you. No, that's a joke. I won't kill you. But if you don't like it, it's okay. You're entitled to not agree with me. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that I am. I just, you know, do whatever I like, I guess. That's why I started my own channel. Um, actually, no, that's true. I'm, that, I'm not being ironic or anything. I started my own channel because I couldn't find uh, someone online who like would play like me. Like I didn't like most of the designs that I saw out there. Um, I like some of them, but the majority of the people playing SimCity out there, uh, like they don't pay attention to design. They just like maxed out everything and like focus more. Like, what is this? Don't do this game. Uh, actually, I was thinking like maybe doing kind of like a weird shape. So it's not like I'm using like the entirety of the... Can I maybe like follow this? Yeah, we can do this. Hang on. Um, they're like more focused in like the economy part of the game. Like I don't care about that at all. I mean, I always, that's why I play in sandbox mode, right? I say that many times. But some people are new and they don't know that. Oh, this is fun. Hang on. So one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three. I think that's enough. Okay, this is starting to look okay to me. So one, two, three. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I also play with Sad because he was one of the few that uh, I really liked the designs that he was putting out. And now, if you look at my cities and his cities, like, they basically look the same. Um, we pretty much have the same style, and we have the same attention to detail. I think that's a huge, huge difference. Um, and always talking about aesthetics. I'm not saying that playing SimCity based on, you know, maxing out everything or focusing only on economy is bad. I'm just saying that's not how I enjoy the game. So, um, yeah. All right, so. Uh, let's see, what can we do next? So this is a pretty good start. I'm, I'm actually excited about this. Um, 
like I said, people often complain that I have OCD, that I bulldoze everything a million times. You know what? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal you a little secret. This is the third time I'm recording this episode because of that. Uh, yes, that's that's actually it's true. I recorded one. Um, so today is uh, Friday. Uh, it's it's well, I mean it's already Friday. It's uh, 14 minutes uh, past midnight. Um, this is the second time I'm recording this right now. Uh, I was just recording for like maybe 40 minutes and the game crashed and and then it the rollback was just like half of what I like I lost like maybe 15 minutes of work and um, and before that I, earlier this uh, evening I recorded the entire episode and I was uh, ready to render it but I wasn't like happy at all with what I how it turned out not only like my narration and like the episode itself but like the city that I built I built like something here with like a lot of roads it was just like eh. No, so I, I mean, I still have it, but I'm, I'm recording this one from scratch. Okay, enough chatter, let's, let's build, let's build, because I know, I know you guys want to see me build stuff, not talk about stupid things. I want to see how big these mega towers are. I know they're pretty humongous, but, um, because I want to have, like, maybe one here, and maybe one here. And maybe three here, like in the middle. One, maybe one here. Two and three. Yeah. Okay. So let's get, uh, let's use our good old measuring tool. Um, uh, let's use this. By the way, this is like the best measuring tool ever because it allows you to... Because if you use the guides, and for those of you who would like watch my videos very lately, this will be boring, but like I usually explain things a couple of times for the people who are new. Uh, I use, uh, if you use the guides, okay, sad, don't, you're talking a lot. <laughs> Hang on, let me mute him. <laughs> He's just messaging me on Skype. Um, I will reply to you in a minute. It will be fun when you watch this video. Um, uh, let's see. There. Um, if you use the guides based off avenues, it will give you the projection to put a road here. The problem is that in here you can build a low density on this side and a high density on this side. Um, and by using these trees, you can get like perfect maximum density. And then from then on, if you use the normal guides, it will let you build high density here, high density here. So if you delete these, I think if I'm correct, I might be able to put a mega tower. Nah, well, yes, but no, hang on. It needs, and it's, I think it needs more more road to the side like that maybe 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 no really yes yes there we go okay so let's find uh, I guess the middle of this part that's kind of centered uh, let's not use this as a reference because these are definitely not centered uh, symmetry my worst enemy uh, hang on. Let's... no. Go away, Betty White. I'm gonna bulldoze this later. <laughs> like I said, I don't want this to be connected. Like, actually this stretch won't be connected. This one, maybe. Um, I was thinking... maybe... wait a minute. What if... Uh, because if I have an overpass over the main entrance now, well, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, I'm also a bit of indecisive, so just bear with me. We're gonna get something cool out of this, trust me. Uh, I'm thinking that I want this to be two tiles inside. This one, sort of around here, and one around here maybe? Which is a three, maybe doing kind of like an arc. 
and then one and one here. I wonder how the scribe bridges will look like if I connect them from down below. Maybe you can do just like three, like this. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, you know what? Let's just plot this here. So this is sort of centered, I guess. There. Let's turn it off for now. So I don't know how this is going to work. We're just getting, uh, you know, the layout of the city first, I guess. Uh, this should work okay. I hit the wrong key. Actually, wait. So how do we want to do this? I mean, we will definitely have to curve here. If we want to keep with the, the density, let's let's pull up some parks in here. Let's do this. There's another way to like measure things, like have guides in between. Uh, which is using uh, train tracks. Train tracks are good because you can do this and it'll give you like intermediate points. In this case, I think if we use this, it will be the perfect size. No, really? No, yes, no, maybe, perhaps. There's a way of testing this out and it's uh, that that is by trying to zone. Because if we zone here, yeah, you see the this edge? Look at this edge here. It tells you that this is like pushing too hard, it's not optimus. Like this one is greener, like a lighter green, and this one is not. I think SAD has a um, tutorial on this, so you might wanna check that out. Okay, let's do this one more time. I mean, I might as well just leave it like that because it, it's going to be a pain to match it. And um, actually, this might have to be an avenue. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is definitely an avenue right here. I mean, it's obvious, it has to be an avenue. So let's get rid of this. Somewhere in here, there has to be that. Okay, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is this is what I was telling you. The the transition between this texture and this texture makes that the curve is like broken, but it actually if you go to bulldoze, like you see how we actually the curve is still exists. The splines are, are there, but yeah. Not being rendered probably th this will get fixed once um, we plop, you know, some of these towers or like other futuristic buildings. Now, I don't know if I want to keep avenues in the middle. I think it will be a lot easier if we just do roads. So let me go ahead and put this how it was. And uh, am I doing, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. Wrong density, that's what I'm doing. So wait, let's get this, this one, okay, this one kind of works here, that's good. <laughs> I think there will be a nice transition here.
And I guess I have to do the same. Here as well. That's kind of funky. Nope, I don't like it. Uh, because the actual curve has to begin here. It has to be a bigger radius because it's expanding. You'll see in a minute what I mean. Oh, this one is like way too much. So if this one is two blocks, this one has to be three or more. That sort of works. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. So let's get rid of this. And uh, what I need now is some like metal road to like connect. Overpass? No, maybe? Yes. This part is kind of weird because we have like this space. Kind of like maybe hug this part like this. I don't know how this would look. It's pretty flat, I would say. It's also quite arcanic now. Let's see if we can put another mega tower in here. No, really? You don't want to mega tower me in here? Okay. Bad, bad game. You can totally feed a mega tower in here. What are you saying? Gloom, 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 gloom. Let's go back to the road menu. Oh, hmm. Hang on. No, I want to get rid of all of it. See, the curves get weird here as well. Hang on. I think this is not properly spaced out. This one is. This one is. Let's worry about this connections later. Just make sure that a mega tower fits within the limits of this road. Yeah, you see, it was like like not aligned properly, so that's that's not a good sign. I don't think you can fit a road down here. Oh, I mean. Yeah, I can totally fit a road in here. Yeah, no, oh, that's tall enough. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this overpass, but it at least looks okay. I mean, I'm happy with that. Let's try to put in Mega Tower now. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe we can fit one here like in the middle and then one over here and that will give us yeah mega towers mega towers oh by the way these are like l medium and low wealth mega towers in case you do you know i should probably explain this i'm like rushing into this but yeah uh it uh, raises medium wealth land value and it supports uh low and medium wealth sims while the white mega towers the elite mega towers are for medium and high wealth sims. And um, these two have nothing to do with uh, either the Academy or Omega Co. They're like different. They look the same, but they're different. Uh, in fact, I think both Mega Towers, the black ones and the white ones, both need uh, control net. So yeah, that's something to consider because uh, you need the Academy at the end of the day. Uh, but also Omega, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's confusing to me still how, how this works. So I'm guessing I'll learn together with you and uh, you can let me know if I'm screwing things up as uh, like I usually do. It's not, not like, like I usually do per se, but uh, sometimes I, I don't know what I'm doing and you guys in the comments, you know, make sure that uh, 
I don't do that, <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Let's get a road in here. Let's use this guy. It's a straight road. I guess it's a straight road. I don't know. This will connect here. Now, the question is, can I mega tower this part or no? Probably not, but I guess we'll see. Back to the mega towers. Ooh, I can barely, I don't have any money. It's okay, that's easily solvable. Bam, a lot of money. Okay, pause the game again, because I don't like the nighttime. Um, yes, I'm playing again in sandbox mode, in case you didn't know it is. Um, we're here for aesthetics, not so much the economy, even though my goal at the end of the day is for... Wait, Mega Towers only cost 20 minus 20? No, that makes no sense. I guess this number hasn't updated yet. Um, I do want to make the cities profitable on their own, but at, at first I just like lay down everything and then figure out how to make money out of it. So that's why I play with sandbox mode. So don't complain, I'm not cheating or whatever. Uh, that's just how it is. So let's try to smooth these things if possible. So let's do two, seems a little bit too little. And let's do three here. Yeah, that should work okay, I guess. There we go. So one, two, three, I guess. And four here. And now I'm pretty sure I cannot longer put a mega tower. Oh wait, no, I did that wrong. Yeah, no. Yeah, I totally did that wrong. Hang on, sorry. This case is the opposite of that one. The radius from the inner curve has to be smaller. This radius has to be smaller because it's on the inside and this one has to be bigger. So they look like this, like both super smooth. And I just did it the other way here. Even though it looks okay, but it's just not as good as I want it to. So, I don't know. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna do three, I guess. And in this case, we're gonna do maybe one, four. Uh, yeah, I think that should work. I'm not too sure of what I'm doing now. But yeah, see how this one is a smaller curve and now it flows better? The problem is that this might not fit now. Yes, that's what I thought. Damn you, Mega Towers. So, okay, we have an option here. We can maybe move the avenue, this avenue into here, get rid of it here, and put the Mega Tower right here. And now, or, or, I mean, hang on, I have an idea. No, I don't want to record a video, SimCity. I don't want to do that. We can maybe do something like this. This is going to be interesting. Bam, there we go. Mega tower on top of this should be pretty nifty. Let's get rid of this. And uh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like seriously, tell me that that's not beautiful. I'm sure there will, there will be a comment saying, oh, that's not beautiful at all. Oh my God. What did you do there? Oh my god, this is so perfect. Look, it even hugs this road. 
Oh my god, this is so unfortunate. What is happening here? Are you kidding me? Man, this game sometimes... I love this game, I really do, but sometimes it just makes me want to kill... everyone. And now my thing... tunnel is still there. No! Okay. Okay, now it's gone. Sorry about my grunting. Okay, let's try this one more time. Maybe it will work. It still does it. I think it's because of the transition. Hang on, let me let me plop another like futuristic building to see if it like fixes it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. It's the same problem that we have here. Okay, we're gonna get rid of it. And now, yeah, the tunnel doesn't like. Oh my god. Hang on. This was perfect, and now it's, like, not perfect anymore. Let's do this again. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That method is not accurate by any means. But it works. So, there we go. Perfect. Right up to the edge, we have this... Uh, Concrete wall here, the container, we have any dirt, and uh, it's looking, yeah, it's looking nice. I'm excited about this. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than what I did in that failed episode that I recorded and never published. I think I want to put the Mega Tower a little bit more uh, centered. Um... Yeah, there we go. So we have all three mega towers. Very in like good locations, I would say. And then we're going to have actually we can have the three like low and medium wealth and then have like two like high wealth down here. This will be like the rich neighborhood. And um and that is just mega towers. And then we have a whole lot of things to do. Uh, we're probably going to have several mega towers in many cities, not just this one. But um, I think um, I think this is good uh, for now. I think I'm going to call it a part here. I've been I've been recording for several hours, even though this episode is probably like 30, 40 minutes. So um, I think I'm going to uh, take a quick break. Uh, I will keep updating the series as I would normally would on uh, Saturdays. Usually the episodes come out. Sometimes I do like special releases during the week. Uh, so I'm guessing that if you're subscribed, and if you aren't, you should, uh, you will get a uh, notification in your feed. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and on Facebook uh, and um, on Twitch because I saw, like, I know I've been saying a lot, hey, I want to start streaming again, hey, I want to, but I really mean that. It's just that I didn't have time. I had people at my house staying for the past few days. I was out of the country for a while. Last weekend I was in Florida, so it was, yeah. But uh, my life is getting slowly, hopefully, back together. And um, I do want to stream. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm planning with Sad on streaming the day uh, Banish comes out and like play the tutorials on live stream so everyone can like take a look at how the game is played, even though there's already a bunch of videos out there. Um, but of course, this will be our take on Banish. Uh, from a design perspective again. So if you liked our style or my style in SimCity, you're definitely gonna like the series on Banish because I'm planning to do exactly that. Pay attention to detail, get um, you know focused on, on on aesthetics mostly, and then you know worry about the other you know game mechanics. So yeah, thanks again uh, for watching. Uh, I really do say a lot that, but I again I do do really mean it. Uh, it's really important and your support has been uh, tremendous this past six months or 29 episodes however you want to call it um i'm planning on playing new games as well besides spanish so stay tuned for that uh there's there's so much uh, that i can do given the little time that i have but um, i'm doing my best to to keep it updated and you entertain uh, after all that's that's what i'm here for so have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Take care.